Welcome back to Flint Creek Transport. My name is Justin. I want to show you some of the projects we're working on in the back. When I say in the back, it means way out here. Lotus Stone just came in. So this is a frame dump trailer. This is the one we used to haul gravel in. We were using that one over there. And unfortunately, the loader guy, when they were loading it, loaded it a little bit crooked. And they had to dump some off. Ended up, when he went to dump more off, the trailer tipped over. And if you're wondering, this is what we call like dryway fabric. Basically a woven textile fabric. It keeps everything more solid, I'd say, when they're putting down stone. You can see we put our crusher run right on top of it. Definitely helps with compaction and keeps sinkholes from happening. I'm sure down south you guys don't have to worry about all that stuff, but here with the freestyle cycles and things like that, the fabric really helps stabilize the soil. All right, and over here, he is pushing some dirt. We are gonna make all this parking area. You can see the drain pipe going out in the back. getting all that mud out of there that way to make it a good solid driveway this concrete pad here beside me is where we used to make mulch back when we had our mulch business several years ago we sold that off bought the trucking company or bought a trucking company that basically just added to our fleet now we've been parking on the pad eventually we will be using this more for parking all the trucks instead of just uh like having our spare trailers and stuff like that out there we're gonna be parking all the rigs in a nice row looks like someone's actually working today all right we're here in the electrical room these guys are got this box installed no wires yet no big wires and they gotta run some wires into that the main line they gotta get it inspected and then niseg's gotta do their work to it but you can see the conduit coming out and that goes throughout our whole shop then. The heating system, natural gas, all the heat pipes, we have heat in the floor, those pipes run down into the floor. So we're getting there. More supplies for wiring, actually I think those are all the lights. And I think out here is more conduit. Progress is slow, but it's coming along. At least the electricians are in working. Looks like a load of stone showed up. Big white W900. In the last live video that I did this past Saturday, I mentioned that we're going to be continuing the donation or the giveaway for a trucker's final mile. Uh, so what you have to do to be entered to win is donate to trucker's final mile, send me an email or a copy of the confirmation that they send you, and I will get you entered to win. What we're giving away this week is a nice little Flint Creek hat. So. Hopefully Saturday around three o'clock, I plan to go live again. I'll pick a winner and we'll see what we'll come up with for next week. And I will say, if you haven't checked out Trucker's Final Mile, please do so. Truckersfinalmile.org, great organization. What they do is they help connect truckers that are on the road, say something happens to them. They connect them with their family or connect the family with the trucker. They do a great job and they have a very good organization going. And you know that when you give them money or donate to them, that it all gets put to a good cause and not only that you're helping out your fellow trucker so if you haven't yet go check it out and donate and good luck maybe you'll win the hat now back here i want to see how they're making out with the dozer leveling the stone out 
we'll see how things look. So I don't know if the camera shows the slope, but there's actually a bit of slope that comes down. So we're working on building this up a bit. We still have a bit more to haul in here. We do have the concrete pad, the landing out there at the end of those doors sloped out, and then it would go to the gravel driveway. And that sloped pretty hard right now. We wanna to try to raise this area up a little bit more. So it will definitely take some more stone. And guys, this truck come back in a little bit earlier today. This truck got back in like at mid afternoon. The rest of the trucks are here. Two trucks over here. One of them is going up to our other location in Rochester. And other than that, man, everything is running. It's been busy, busy, busy. There's a rig out back yet. Kind of a, some of the spare rigs, but most everything is running. It's a good thing. I want to show you also mulch is starting to roll into our yard. We've got some of our trucks bringing it in. This guy just got the load off. So this is a lot of what we do. We haul a lot of mulch in the spring. We haul with our walking floor trailers and a belt trailer. Actually, we have several belt trailers. What's up, Chip? How are you doing? Fantastic, how are you? Wonderful. That's good. slats are in the back and then they start going front like every third one and they all come back together so it's basically uh, eight nine inches at a time and it takes about 15 minutes to unload the load pretty basic and I'll show you underneath the trailer they call this the drive unit under here and there's these three cylinders in here you can see them moving this is the drive unit and it's got these metal framework that goes complete side to side of the trailer right there it is so that metal goes from side to side the, tr the floor actually mounts to those frames and those frames are attached to the cylinder the reason for the sweep tarp is you can see what it just did it swept out this trailer this clean the guy didn't do any sweeping he basically put his sweep tarp in there properly and it came out nice and clean so all he's got to do is clean the back end of this trailer off and he's good to go so some drivers got their own techniques to sweeping out the trailer i usually end up sweeping it out but these guys they'll blow it out so they'll do that oftentimes when they're switching colors he's got a little handheld blower works out pretty good I better get out of here, I'm gonna get dusty. So if he was switching from this mulch to red mulch, uh, he'd wanna clean it out a little bit better. Like basically what he's doing right now is blowing it out, but just going, if he has to reload the same mulch, no big deal, he can easily do it without sweeping it. There's another truck unloading. These trailers, again, they're called walking floors. These are Titan walking floors. If you haven't seen the Titan video, I can link it in. These trailers are pretty awesome. So this mulch looks similar. It's actually a little bit different.
sweep tarp is because, look in this trailer, you didn't do any sweeping, it's perfectly clean. There's just some dust on the floor. If he's switching colors tomorrow, he's probably gonna clean it out, blow it out, but if he's running the same product, no big deal. He, uh, he just takes the sweep tarp, hangs it up on the clips. Actually, I'll show you. Show you the clips up in the front is what we call our sweep tarp clamps so the tarp attaches onto that and it will basically just pull right out once product gets up against it also another cool feature these servers have is this door which is very cool makes it super nice when you do have to climb in shovel it out you don't have to go into the back you can come in here or if you're unloading in a hopper it makes it much easier you can climb through the door Ridge straps keep the tra uh, keep the tarp from coming down in, sagging down in when it rains. This is a 2019 Kenworth W900 500 Cummins. It's one of the newer ones. Same way with this one. So when I ordered these trucks, that one's got a 62 inch bunk. That one's a 38 inch bunk. This guy might go out once a month but it is nice to have that extra space and then i also got an extended day cab so it was kind of cool getting all three trucks in at the same time all three different configurations You could see, I don't know if you could tell or not, but his, you could hear his tire, his axle sliding. And there's actually a bit of a dip right here. So when he started out, his back axle actually started sliding. And then once the weight came off his front axle, the back axle started sliding. So these trailers, they're, they're high scrub application with the tires. And that's why I only run virgins on the spread axle trailers. I'll run recaps on the back axle sometimes, but on the front axle, I always run virgins. So same way when he pulls out, probably the same thing will happen because it's a little bit of a dip. We have it sloped. We have, I think, 10 or 11 of those walking floor trailers like that, that are Titans. And then we have, and they're pretty much all identical, 48 102s. And then we have several other walking floors. Uh, we have like a Mac, a Peerless, a couple other ones. So I'll tell you a quick story. One of our trucks was out in Stanford, New York. It's a little town in Eastern New York. We were unloading, I think it was like a load of grain with the belt trailer. We had a tire that actually came, uh, didn't come off the rim, but the bead broke. There's a pretty cool little tire shop down there. The guy gets into the tire shop, goes over to the tire shop. The guys blow the tire back up on the rim, seat it and everything and hooked us up grand gorge tire if you're ever out in the area those guys are awesome thank you so much for doing that saved us a lot of running and i'll have to maybe hook them up with a calendar or hook them up with something so it's always nice to have companies looking out for one another it was great awesome and i hate to break it to you but i probably am only going to get one video out this week just because i got some tripping to do some traveling more personal so probably not gonna take the camera with stay tuned for saturday i'm gonna try to go live again at three o'clock right around three o'clock hopefully i can see you then next week we got lots of exciting stuff so like my videos next week is <laughs> gonna be uh, i got a lot of good content i'm heading out west so i'm excited hopefully you guys enjoy it as always guys thanks so much for watching i appreciate the support peace out